A local business website needs to be consistent with its Google business profile. Every GBP category and service should be mentioned exact match on the local business website. Now, most local businesses don't do this. I'm going to give you a chat GPT prompt that's going to allow you to rewrite your existing website content to create much more topical relevance for your primary category and geographic location to Google's algorithm. This will improve your GBP ranking and increase your local traffic and local calls. Here is a before and after example where we rewrote and restructured existing content to dominate local competition. So let me go to my computer and show you this crazy prompt. Okay, so here's the prompt and I'm going to break it down a little bit in this to show you why it works as well as it does and how you can craft prompts like this to get results from ChatGPT. So the prompt for the first thing we're going to do is tell ChatGPT that it's an expert at what we want done. A massive amount of value, a massive amount of improvement in ChatGPT's output if we just literally tell it it's an expert at what we want it to do. Then we're going to tell it to write like a human. Now this might sound funny, but it will do a better job of writing like a human if we ask it to write like a human. Uh, include experiences, advice, opinions, don't use cliches, don't use exaggerated language. This types of things like using the word delve is something that when AI does it, it's a trigger, a tip off that is written by AI. So we're telling it here not to do it. We're also telling it that it's familiar with Google's algorithm and how Google's algorithm interprets written content, okay? So now, obviously when you're using this, update this for you, but the primary GBP category is plumber and I'm giving it the secondary GBP categories. If you don't know, or you don't have secondary GBP categories, you need to add secondary GBP categories. Uh, if you don't know which ones to add, you can ask ChatGPT. I have a video on this channel where I use ChatGPT to optimize a Google business profile. I give you all the prompts you need, including finding additional GBP categories and GBP services. Now, our goal here, like I mentioned before, is to make sure we use exact match language for the categories and services. So these are the other categories. And now we have the other services. Same thing, if you don't know services, if you don't have services, add some, check out that other video for the prompt. We have about 30 here that are all related to a plumber in Houston. Okay, so now we're asking it to rewrite the provided homepage content. Uh, we're telling what we want, SEO optimized article, and we're telling it exactly what style and tone we want it to write in, okay? So uh, the, to appeal to customers interested in the service by this business. We want it to include local neighborhoods, language style events, and places for the area of Houston, Texas, and in first person as an expert in the field. All of this very specific direction helps to make sure ChatGPT gives us the result that we want, something that sounds and feels human, okay? And we're gonna ask it to start with the introduction section using a compelling hook, that's what gets people to keep reading. And we wanna use personal anecdotes or stories. Now, obviously, ChatGPT has never had any personal experiences and doesn't have personal anecdotes or stories. So these might be bad, right? These might not be very good anecdotes or very good stories. But the great news is when ChatGPT inserts them and you edit this content, you reread it, you go through it, uh, you'll be able to quickly identify where to insert or improve ChatGPT's anecdotes and stories. So that's why we do this. Maybe it turns out good and we can keep it in there with some minor edits, or maybe they're just terrible stories and we just delete the whole story and replace it with a new story from an actual human being. Basically asking ChatGPT to do here is use the primary category as an H1 and then use all of the secondary categories as H2s and we wanna mention each of the services under the H2 that's most relevant, okay? What this does is it creates a massive amount of consistency between your GBP landing page, uh, which means the website, the URL that your GBP is linked to. For most single location businesses, this is just the homepage. Uh, so this amount of consistency between your GBP landing page and the information on your Google business profile is really, really valuable for ranking in local SEO. And we're giving it homepage content so that we can minimize the challenge of hallucination, right? ChatGPT has a tendency to hallucinate, which is a polite way to say ChatGPT has a tendency to just make things up. But when we give it content and ask it to use that content as a basis for rewriting, it hallucinates less, okay? Less, not zero. We still need to double check it. We still need to make sure it's not just stating factually incorrect uh, things, okay? 
So, like I said, most local businesses that we start working with at our agency, they'll probably have one category and a couple of services if they've never done SEO before. You really need at least five secondary categories. You should have more than that. Google allows you to have up to 10. So if you can come up with 10 relevant ones, put them all on there. And for services, you know, 20, 30, 40 services, that's what you really need to be focused on, okay? Now, we're asking it to rewrite one section at a time. The reason we're doing that is so that we can see the content it is producing and potentially ask it to adjust, right? Uh, after it writes one paragraph, we can say, okay, redo it, but in the third person, or redo it, but at a lower reading level, or redo it, but, you know, talk about Houston more. You know, whatever we don't like about the first paragraph it writes, it's gonna be much easier to correct that first paragraph and then get it to keep writing than to rewrite the entire bit of content. On top of that, by writing small chunks of content like this, we actually can get it to write longer content if that's what we want. So let me show you the last step in this prompt. I'm gonna come on over to Google. I'm just gonna search for Plumber Houston. Uh, these are the guys that are ranked. So I'm gonna hit more businesses, something that very few users will ever do. Uh, and we're gonna look for somebody who's not ranked super well. So I'm gonna grab uh, number 20 here, Acacia Plumbing, okay? And we're gonna pretend we're doing this for Acacia Plumbing. So I'm just gonna grab the content on their website, so I'm just selecting all of it. Perfect, and I'm gonna copy it, Control C, come on over to ChatGPT, go to the end, Control V, and go. Um, so we just gave ChatGPT this, you know, massive prompt. Uh, asking it basically to rewrite the content uh, so that it is a better match for the GBP, the Google Business Profile. We want those to be uh, spot on matching, okay? And sometimes it does this. I told it to just write the first paragraph. You know, it kept going, no problem. Oh, no, it did just write the first introduction. It's a long introduction, uh, but it did that. So we can take a look, okay, plumber in Houston, Texas. That's what we asked it to do. It's exact match, primary category, city name. And then we're writing this as if a uh, first person expert with storytelling. We have, uh, look at this, the historic Heights district, uh, talking about grandmother's birthday. Um, it's t talking about why this plumber started this business. So this is not bad, right? Like this is not terrible content. Uh, maybe a little bit of editing, uh, tuning up, but this talks about a lot of personal things. It talks about Houston, it talks about Houston neighborhoods. These are all incredibly valuable things to show Google that your website is in fact local to Houston, Texas. So if we didn't like this, we could say uh, rewrite in a more, in a, more formal style. Um, so there's any number of things that we could do. If there's something particular that we didn't like about the tone, the style of the content, we can just really ask it to, to rewrite it here. And then once we get something we like, um, continue writing the next section. Okay, and here we have plumbing contractor services. If we come back up, we had asked it to all the way up. Plumbing contractor was the second, first secondary category. So now it's writing uh, the second paragraph about plumbing contractor services. So it's doing exactly what we wanted. We can just keep it, at, keep asking it to go section by section. Once we get this whole block of content uh, and edit it, uh, adjust this personal stories so they make sense, the personal anecdotes so that they make sense, humanize it a little bit, add some uniqueness. Then literally we're just gonna take this content replace the content that's on the homepage here with what we just had produced. It is much more consistent. It uh, provides a lot more topical relevance for Google's algorithm. And we will see the ranking for this website increase just by doing this simple step, okay? To further put gasoline on this fire, we're also gonna wanna source at least one high quality link. Uh, uh, for a local business, something like a chamber of commerce, if they're not already a member, go join the local chamber of commerce. Uh, and then you'll get that link in there. So that will get Google to recrawl the new improved content with a new link to show its quality content. 
So I mentioned this a couple of times. Uh, once you get this website all tuned up and consistent, what then you need to go do is make sure the GBP is fully optimized and fully consistent with it. So I want you to go check out this video where I break down exactly how to use ChatGPT to optimize your GBP. So once you finish this and you get your website all fully optimized, the next thing, what you need to work on next is make sure that your Google business profile is fully optimized and fully consistent with your website. So the best way to do that is to go check out this video where I'm going to break down exactly how you can use AI, ChatGPT, to optimize your GBP. And I'm even gonna give you all the prompts we use at my agency when we do Google Business Profile Optimization with ChatGPT.